Now, news of a call from Cleveland city officials to suburban police departments on police chases. Their message, we need to talk about policies so no one else gets hurt or killed. This after Parma police were involved in a chase that ended tragically in Cleveland. Our senior crime and justice correspondent, Lydia Espara, explains. Last Thursday, Parma police officers chased a black Ford Fusion driven by 30-year-old Kenneth Lemons from Columbus. He was speeding eastbound on Brook Park Road near West 33rd Street at almost 100 miles per hour. Lemons police say had a head-on collision prior to the chase. As Parma police continued chasing the car, this happened. Cars kind of up against the building, heavy fire, heavy smoke. Police took action. Well, I'm gonna get the extinguisher. I don't see any movement inside. That driver died and his passenger survived. Then there was this chase. On Saturday, Parma police also chasing this Honda Accord. That driver tried to avoid police by going the wrong way on 176, hitting this Kia Sportage head on. The accident ended in Cleveland. The driver of the Kia survived. I don't he might be of some help to ID these males. In the Honda, two men, Jabril Allen of Chardon and 23-year-old Darnell Prince of Burton, died from their injuries. What's worrying us about this situation in Parma is that they seem to be chasing on a regular basis. Cleveland City Councilwoman Rebecca Maurer represents the 12th Ward. It's where this accident happened. Now, a chase policy is a really important part of any police department. And what we know is that these chases can end in bystanders being hurt. The consent decree in Cleveland prevents Cleveland police from these types of chases. Maurer and other council members want these chases to stop before they come into the city and before they end up like this. We really don't have a shared mutual agreement on these chase policies. We don't have a plan for how these policy, these chases are happening between our two cities, and we really need to have a conversation. And several Cleveland council members say this is an issue for safety for their residents, but also for the residents in the suburbs. Now, we did reach out to Parma police, but they were unavailable for comment. Russ? That video, certainly chilling. It is. All right. Lydia Spara in the newsroom. Thank you. Sure.